welcome to another week of crochet. We're gonna be starting this vlog with a pretty interesting day. So first I have a client at 10 a.m. But after that, I'm gonna be picking up my sister from school and then a bunch of us are gonna be driving an hour away from here to go watch the eclipse because it's the 8th of April and today there will be an eclipse at around, I think 3 p.m. I'm not actually sure, but I just know it's around then. And apparently it's supposed to look extra cool in the city that we're driving to. To go and watch it so I don't know I'm just really excited to see an eclipse because I've never actually seen one before and I'm assuming that we're gonna be sitting around for a while like waiting to watch the eclipse so I'm of course gonna be bringing my crochet projects with me to keep me entertained as we wait so I have my typical tote bag that I always use for my crochet projects and it's already full of my crochet projects that I'm currently working on so I'm currently making another one of these mesh sleeveless tops which I'm absolutely in love with. I've worn this specific top so many times now. I love it so much and in case you're wondering I have a tutorial for this top if you want to make one yourself. So I'm currently making another one in this color right here. So this is what it's looking like. Oh my gosh I love this yarn so much. I'm super into variegated yarns lately. I got this yarn from Koigu Yarn. If anyone's wondering it's like the best yarn ever. I love this colorway so much. This is the back panel, which I'm pretty sure... I think it should be done right now, so I'll probably start the front panel today. And then I have another project, this project right here, which is looking so pretty, but it's actually giving me some issues. So I've kind of been putting off working on it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try solving the issues today, but we'll see. It's just kind of putting me off because the issues just arose yesterday. And now I'm like, oh, I just spent like so much time making this section here and then this section right here, this denser section is the one that's giving me issues. And now I'm like, oh, I don't really feel like working on it because it's, it's making me sad. Maybe I'll work on it and try and solve the issues, but we'll see. So those are my projects that I'm going to be bringing with me. But I should go finish getting ready for my client that is going to be here in... 15 minutes. It is now 9.45. So I'm gonna go and do that and then I will see you guys in a little bit. so good. Got my crochet. Um, lush shirt. Lush shirt. I have to wash my mouth. I actually got a clothes on my mouth. I like it's all. The clothes has it all. We're gonna go outside now and get set up so we can watch. Yeah, I think it is weird. It's really weird. Oh, it is weird. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry <laughs> I looked at the side. I think it's okay though right now. <laughs> I know, I just panicked because I like, looked right at it. Wow, you really can't see anything in these. I'm scared. But you can put the camera behind your back. Now we embark on the journey of a lifetime to get creamed milk. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ice cream! <laughs> That's not right! Yum. 
So it's Tuesday today, which means I have knitting club at 10 a.m. It is currently 9.50. Um, I'm so tired this morning. So I'm currently in the drive through line to get a coffee. So yeah. And then I'm going to go right to knitting club. Probably going to be a little late because actually the line's not that bad. I thought I was going to be in here for a little longer, but I will show you. Just waiting to get my coffee. Hi, can I get a medium vanilla latte made with oat milk? Medium vanilla latte made with oat milk? Yes, please. Okay. I got myself a vanilla latte. <laughs> We're here. And I'm right on time, just one minute late. My gosh, on the way here, I noticed that like so many people were wearing shorts and dresses out because it's actually kind of nice out today. And I'm fully wearing a sweater and pants, but it's fine. I'm gonna be inside anyways. And sometimes there's AC and then I get really cold. So I just left Knitting Club. Um, it was so fun today. Oh my gosh, I love everyone there. I was so tired this morning, but after being there and talking with everyone, I feel so energized. I mean, my, uh, my coffee also probably helped with that, but I'm convinced it was more so talking to everyone there that just energized me. But yeah, I feel so good. Ooh, and let me show you what I worked on today. I didn't wanna film when I was in there because I just like to spend that time you know talking with everyone and not really having to think about filming so this is what i worked on look how pretty that is i love this colorway so much i'll show you what it looks like when rolled into a ball this is what it looks like wow <laughs> it's so colorful i love it so much and um, so i'm working on like um, a halter top with this. So I'm pretty much just gonna crochet a tube and then I'm gonna add the straps to make it like afterwards to kind of make it a halter top like this. And I'm designing it myself. I mean, like it's a pretty straightforward design, but maybe I'll end up doing a tutorial for it eventually. If it works out, I have no idea if it's gonna work out yet. And I really hope it does. I also really hope I have enough yarn because this right here is a pencil skein and I only bought two pencil skeins of this yarn. Um, so I'm hoping I have enough of it to complete the top. So I'm considering ordering a third skein in this colorway because I'm a little worried I will run out of yarn. Cause there's also some other yarn that I wanna buy from Koigu. So I wouldn't mind making an order for yarn. Cause I got this yarn from Koigu in case you're wondering. Anyways, I'm gonna go home now, but I will see you guys later. <laughs> gotta clean up a little bit before my client comes and then I'm gonna go sit out there in our backyard for a little bit and crochet. Okay, let's go outside. <laughs> it's so nice out. Definitely don't need this sweater because it's so warm, but I just wore it just in case. Also, look at all those pretty flowers. Hopefully you can see on camera, but all these tiny little purple flowers. Oh, there's so many of them and they're so pretty. I'm gonna continue working on my little rainbow halter top. Yeah. So I'm using a V stitch. I think that's what it's called. I mean, like that's what it looks like. I don't know the proper name for it, but I think it might be called the V stitch. So it's Wednesday, which means I have knitting club today from 1 to 3, and it is currently 12.37, so I'm about to leave in just a few minutes, but I just want to show you my outfit for today. So this is 
what I am wearing. And this Bolero shrug, let me show you a little bit of a close up here. So I crocheted this shrug with lace weight mohair yarn. And then afterwards I crocheted a little bit of like lace on the edge of it and it looks so pretty. And this is what the sleeves look, oh, there's a loose end. Oh no, no, there's not, Never mind. This is what the sleeves look like. It's a little bit of like a bell sleeve. And then I also did the lace on the ends here, but I love it. this Valero so much. And this is actually gonna be my first time wearing it out even though I finished it like two weeks ago because I'm having a little bit of a hard time styling it. Like I don't really know what to wear it with. This is the best I could come up with today. Just all black underneath. And it kind of allows the, the bolero to stand out a little bit. But if any of you guys have any ideas for ways to style like a bolero like this, please let me know in the comments because I need ideas. If I knew how to style this properly, I would be wearing this bolero like every single day. But everything that I pair it with just kind of looks awkward. Anyways, I'm gonna go grab my things and then I'm going to head out to go to knitting club. Why is that crooked? I just realized I've been putting my camera in my purse and just like stuffing it in there with the with my Rhodes microphone. Let me show you this thing right here. And I just noticed it's getting a little bent. So maybe it's not the best idea to stuff it in my purse, but I have arrived at knitting clumps. So I'm gonna grab my things and go inside. I kind of feel bad. It's so nice out today, so I always feel bad like being inside on such a nice day. But it's so worth it because I want to go see the ladies and show them all my projects. Needle for your the crochet family. hook through, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then recently, where um, they took the yarn you're going to use and went through the top of the, the fabric, making a chain. Nah, and it just depends on what kind of top you want to make. If you want it to be like a like a or coverage one. A lot of mine are low cover. <laughs> so it doesn't take much. <laughs> oh yeah, can't go wrong with mohair. <laughs> I'm back in my car and now I'm going to head over to the yarn store to buy a skein of yarn. Just one probably just one. I just have something very specific in mind and I really want to get it even though I told myself I wasn't going to buy new yarn until the Knit City convention in May but I'm going to make an exception for this yarn. This is the yarn that I bought at London Yarns and I only bought the one skein like I said I would. Oh, you are falling over. I actually also bought um, a pair of knitting needles, but that's not yarn, so it doesn't count. Uh, now I am just on my way to pick up my friend and then um, we're just gonna hang out for a little bit and uh, we might crochet and draw outside for a bit since it's so freaking nice out it's 21 degrees right now celsius and i'm like really warm i had the windows open but then if they're open right now you won't be able to hear me so hopefully we hang out outside because it is so nice outside and i don't want to be inside any longer so yeah i might record a little bit later today but we'll see <laughs> shaky a little shaky shake 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 oh it's doing it okay i just got back home from michael's also today is friday and i didn't film yesterday because i mostly worked all day and i did crochet a little bit but to be completely honest i looked pretty rough yesterday and i didn't really feel like putting my face on camera so and i did work most of the day so yeah, didn't film yesterday, but I'm here today, and um, yeah, just went to Michael's to buy um, something very specific. I wanted to get this crochet thread right here, 
and I got a whole lot of it. I didn't even realize how many yards it was when I bought it. I just knew it was more than what I usually buy. Um, I usually buy like a roll this big. Um, but, and then I read that it's a thousand yards, which is a lot of thread. So I can use this for a lot of different things. So my plan for this crochet thread is um, I kind of want to make a beach cover up like skirt type thing to wear over the crochet bikinis that I am currently making. So what I worked on yesterday and didn't film um, and a little bit this morning that I also didn't film is this bikini bottom right here. So that's what I'm making. It looks so small and skimpy. But I am using my favorite bikini bottom right here as a reference. So this is like the exact same size. So I know it's gonna work. It just kind of looks a little... Well, it's not exactly the same size. Actually, this one's probably like a little smaller. Like it covers maybe a little less. But I'll be on a beach in Cuba, so who cares? So once I'm done making this bottom, and I like how it looks on. I am, oh, I'm also gonna make like a matching bikini top to go along with it. And if I like how the whole set looks on, then I'm probably gonna make another set. And I want to make a little cover up to put over it. Yeah, I'm leaving in nine days, so I don't really have that much time to do all this. And I'm feeling very ambitious right now. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna really get a lot of this done because I'm not only working on these like beach bikini projects I'm also working on a few other projects right now so I'm working on this project that I've been working on since like two weeks ago I think in my last vlog I was working on this so I'm still currently working on this I finished this panel but I'm currently working on the second panel so I have this much of it done so I'm still working on this top and then I also started this top which is so pretty but I'm running out of yarn because I wanted this to be like a full length, not just a crop top, but like a full length halter top. So I'm just crocheting a tube and then putting on the strap to tie around my neck afterwards. And I'm running out of yarn. So I put in an order for more yarn. And I didn't think it would get here in time um, for my trip to Cuba. But the shipping says only one business day because I bought it from Koigu Yarn, which is local. So if it arrives, I'm going to go back to working on this project because I think this would look super cute to wear in Cuba. So it'd be cool to finish it in time for my trip. So yeah, I have a lot of things that I'm working on. And another thing is I wanted to film the tutorial for this little low so cow right here because I'm currently doing a tester call for it and I already have some testers who have completed it and everything is looking pretty good. And my yarn from Hobie has arrived and I needed this yarn to make uh, this cow for the tutorial. So I was like, oh, should I film that before I go to Cuba as well? Because I didn't really plan out my videos very well um, for like around my trip. And right now I don't really have anything planned and ready to go for like before my trip and right when I get back. So yeah, my mind's definitely all over the place, but um yeah, lots of projects on the go and I'm struggling to keep up to be honest because my shoulder has been really acting up it has been acting up for like the past two months now um, and it comes and goes depending on how much I crochet and knit and it's been like acting up a little bit more the past like week or two because I've been crocheting a lot so realistically I should probably slow down but I probably won't because I have so many things on the go but it's fine it's actually gonna be okay because um, when I'm in Cuba, I will take a little bit of a break there, maybe. And I'm just gonna quickly open up my Hobie package. It arrived earlier today, but I didn't open it right away because I want to open it with you guys on camera. So yeah, I'm going to see what's inside. Like, I already know what yarn I ordered, but it's still exciting. So this is the yarn that I ordered. So I ordered some chenille yarn and specifically the Honey Bunny yarn. I love this yarn. It's currently my favorite chenille yarn and I know Hobie just recently came out with a new chenille yarn called Toucan and I really want to try that one out too because I've heard a lot of good things about it. But this time I just ordered the Honey Bunny. Anywho, I know I just covered a whole lot. It's just um, since I didn't film yesterday, I feel like not a lot has happened since 
I filmed last, but you know, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update as to what's going on. I'm probably going to work on this bikini for most of the day today and then maybe this top as well because this is currently my favorite project because it's so fun to work with because the colors are so vibrant. I just find it more fun to work with colors that I enjoy. Also, I think I forgot to show you what else I got at Michael. So I got like this white crochet thread, but I also got this uh, really pretty like blue, would this be turquoise? I don't know, thread, but look how vibrant it is very very pretty I wasn't planning on getting this one but when I saw it I just had to get it because I feel like this would look really pretty worked up into a bikini for Cuba because like this just kind of screams mermaid <laughs> Also, you know what I just remembered? So, you know the yellow mohair, like, top that I was crocheting to match my, um, the, the bolero that I made earlier? Um, anyways, I put it in the freezer, like, a few days ago, and I totally forgot I put it there. So, I'm gonna go run and grab it. Yeah. <laughs> put my crochet project in here. <laughs> so, this is the... The top so it's supposed to be like a small little tank top kind of thing and it's I want it to be like slightly tight but not super tight but tight enough where it's not like baggy and as you can see it's looking like a little bigger than what I wanted it to like when it stretches out it's not the size that I wanted it to be so I have to frog it and um, as many of you may know Frogging mohair can be a pain in the butt because the little little fuzzy fibers get into knots and then it's hard to take it apart. But one of the ladies at the knitting group that I go to told me that if I put it in the freezer, then it becomes easier to frog. So yeah, it definitely helped. I've done it before, but it's still a pain in the butt to frog, but it's just like a little less terrible, I guess. It's just these like more dense stitches here um, that are harder to take out. Like when it comes to this mesh stitch part of the top, it's actually a lot easier to frog. But this part right here, like there's just something caught here and just almost every single stitch that I try to take out is getting caught. But the freezer has helped a little bit. Ooh. about like half a row and I am kind of over it so I think I'm gonna put it back in the freezer and revisit this again later but I don't feel like frogging right now because it's so annoying okay so I finished most of my bikini bottoms and I will show you so they're pretty much done like the crochet portion of it. So this is what it is. And I just finished making the strap just now. I just, um, I just gotta try it on, make sure it's like the right length. Since they're not adjustable, so I have to get it like the perfect length. And then I will be fully done the bottoms. They are <laughs> very small, <laughs> little revealing, but like I said, it's Cuba. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> so yeah, I pretty much just worked on these bikini bottoms today uh, because my shoulder, I think I mentioned, I don't know if it was yesterday or a few days ago, but my shoulder started acting up a lot. And last night it got so bad because yesterday I crocheted a lot. And even when I stopped crocheting, um, I could just feel my whole like shoulder, but mostly like right where my collarbone is right here was just throbbing and I could feel like this like sharp pain in my collarbone and I still feel it now I feel it right now so yeah I was feeling it like all last night when I wasn't even like actively crocheting so I was like oop I should probably like chill out on the crocheting since I've been doing so much of it 
So even though I want to spend like all weekend crocheting, it's currently Saturday and tomorrow I want to spend a lot of it crocheting as well. I'm gonna have to take it easy. I'm still probably gonna crochet a little bit, but like not nearly as much as I have been lately. So yeah, I haven't gotten that much crocheting done today, but I am really happy that I've completed, mostly completed these bottoms here. Um, yeah, it's pretty windy, so I hope you can still hear me. I tried to put this little thing on, but it wasn't really working. So, um, there's no wind right now, so I'm gonna quickly tell you guys what I'm making. So, I am working up a, another little cow, because I'm almost finished testing the pattern, which I then can make the tutorial for it. But I wanna make one, like, slight alteration to it, so I have to just work it back up. my stitch markers what? I brought everything that I need except one little thing that I absolutely need which is a stitch marker okay I got a stitch marker so the plan for today is in like 30 minutes I'm going to go meet up with some of my friends and we're all gonna crochet together and it's uh, it's currently like 20 degrees out sunny a bit windy though um, but still a very, very nice day. So we're gonna go, um, we're gonna crochet outside together. Originally we were gonna crochet inside, but since it's so nice out, we're gonna go um, crochet in a park. So I'm excited, it's gonna be a good day. And a little update on my shoulder. It's not as painful today. Um, I think the fact that I didn't crochet a lot yesterday um, has made it feel a lot better today, which just goes to show that um, Looks like crochet and knitting is the reason for the pain in my shoulder and clearly taking a little break from doing that is helping but I just have so many things that I need to work on right now that I can't take like a complete break um, until I go on my trip which then I'll be able to take like a little bit more of a break so um, ah, I'm just trying to close the magic circle here for the start of my cow and I always hate this part with chenille yarn you have to pull on the chenille yarn to close the circle and the yarn likes to break so let's see if I'm gonna nah, nah, nah. yeah what was I saying oh yeah my shoulder um yeah it's a little better today so I'm going to allow myself to crochet but just a little bit um, because it seems that it starts acting up when I overdo it with the crocheting so if I just do a little bit, because yesterday I did still crochet, I just crocheted a lot less than usual and um, I can already feel an improvement in my shoulder. So I'm just going to crochet a little bit today. Like obviously I can't not crochet when I'm meeting up with all my friends and all of them are going to crochet. Like I'm going to feel like I'm missing out. I'm having a really hard time with this magic circle right now. So. I'm just going to cut my losses and put this project aside because I don't really have that much time left until I have to go so I'm gonna finish getting ready and uh, maybe I'll bring this project with me so I can work on it um, when I meet up with the girls but um, I'm kind of over it right now <laughs> Ten thirty, so I'm just winding down and doing a little bit of crochet. I got my tea. I got my a bottle of homemade kombucha <laughs> and my bowl of trail mix. And I am just set up watching YouTube and I'm getting cozy. And this is just how I like to spend my evenings. This is like my favorite thing to do. I love it. Um, but I just want to show you real quick what I worked on today. So, I know I said I just wanted to crochet 
a little bit, but I crocheted a little bit more than a little bit. But my shoulder's feeling fine. Like I, like I wouldn't have crocheted as much as I did if it wasn't feeling fine. I don't know. Actually, I can't say that because I probably would have kept going regardless, which isn't good. But I just have so many things that I'm trying to get done right now. But um, I did end up uh, working on the cow. I think... The last I showed you guys was I was trying to make the magic ring of the cow, but it kept breaking, so I got frustrated and put it aside, but I managed to get it to work eventually, and this is how much I made of my little cow. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So pretty much what I did is, so this is what the cow looked like before. So cute. Um, I love everything about it, except I wanted to make a slight alteration and move this little spot over just a little bit so that this eye doesn't like blend into the spot because it's kind of hard to see the eye from far away upon first glance everyone keeps saying like oh my god i didn't notice the second eye at first i thought the eye was missing so i think that's a sign i need to move the spot a little bit so i made that alteration today and this is the updated version so the spot is moved over a little bit i haven't added the eyes yet so you can't fully tell but maybe if i hold them up next to each other yeah as you can see, there's like more space right here between the muzzle and the spot. So I worked on that and then I started working up, I got like completely sidetracked and I started working on a new pattern because I had this idea that I wanted to make a little, little duck. Um, I mean, I already have like a few duck patterns, like I got this one right here. Um, but this one requires some sewing and I wanted to make like a, a little mini low sew or no so a uh, little duck and I started working that up right now and this is what it looks like but um, still have to make some changes to it um, but yeah I got completely sidetracked because I have so many other things I'm supposed to be working on and then I was like let's start this new project um, but it's just a little guy so it's not gonna take long to work up but um, and then I also what else did I work on today oh yeah when I was crocheting in the park with my friends, I brought something that was kind of like just a comfort project, something that was easy to work up. I didn't have to think about a lot. And it was this project right here. And I think I got about, like I crocheted about this much. So probably like five to seven rows. And this is what it's looking like right now. Oh, it is so good. But this is how much yarn I have left for this project and I want it to be longer than this, like maybe like double this length. And I did order more of this yarn and so I'm really hoping that my order arrives soon so I can continue working on this and then have it done for Cuba. But we'll see. It's, it's fine if that doesn't happen. And right now I am just working on... Oh, I just like took out a bunch of my stitches. Um, I am working on my little bikini bottom my itty bitty bottoms oh no that was the right way so my little itty bitty bottoms <laughs> um so i'm just working on this strap right here so it was a chain and i'm just crocheting it into like this little thicker strap because um i like a good thick strap for my bikini bottoms because I just find it more flattering like I don't like when they're just like this thin strap it just feels I don't know I don't like the stringy feeling so I'm making some thick straps so yeah that's what I'm gonna be working on for the rest of the night I think once I finish making the strap for this bikini bottom I'm going to call it a night for crocheting and then maybe just I was gonna say maybe I'll read but honestly I've been saying that for like the past week that I would read before going to bed and then I just don't do it so I won't hold myself to it but if I decide to read I will read. I am currently reading Iron Flame. I read Fourth Wing and loved it so, so freaking much. And now I'm currently reading Iron Flame, which is also really, really good. I just, I go through like intense phases of reading and now I'm like kind of falling out of that phase. Just because I'm, I'm mostly overwhelmed with like all the different like crochet projects I have on the go that I just keep thinking that I don't have time to read, which is not true. I obviously, I definitely have plenty of time to read but I am going to end this vlog here though because it is Sunday and I think I started this vlog on Monday so technically it has been a complete week of crocheting so yeah I'm going to end it here but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy this video I think this was a good week um it was pretty eventful considering there was an eclipse on Monday so that was pretty cool 
and yeah so yeah i hope you enjoyed all that but um i'm gonna go now but hopefully i will see you in the next video bye